Hi everyone, this is Rachel at Will Forge for Food. Today I want to talk to you about burdock and how to identify burdock. And the reason I want to talk about burdock today is because it's a really good beginner plant. It's really common, it's very easy to identify. There's only a couple of plants in the Midwest and Great Lakes region that really look much like burdock. Um, so usually the key identifying features that people look for with burdock, first of all, the huge leaves. You can see this leaf, it's wider than my hand and definitely longer. Leaves of burdock can get up to a couple feet long and they all come from a basal rosette. A basal rosette is where the plant comes from a single spot on the ground. So here's a rosette right here for this plant. There's another rosette right here that's a different plant. And a third rosette here from another plant. There's two more. That's another plant here with the basal rosette and another plant. So a basal rosette with very large leaves, spade shaped, kind of with a heart at the butt end. In the Great Lakes region, there's really only a couple things that might be mistaken for burdock. One is rhubarb and the other is skunk cabbage. Here's some skunk cabbage. See how wet and mucky this is? No self-respecting burdock would ever live in this muck. Up here, on the slope at the edge, sure. But not down here, not in this. So if it's wet and mucky, it's definitely not burdock. I'm gonna take a leaf of the skunk cabbage so that we have it for comparison. See again how the skunk cabbage, like the burdock, has the basal rosette and the large spade-shaped leaves, frilly wavy edges, little hard at its end. So habitat is very important for differentiating between skunk cabbage and burdock. And here we have rhubarb, right habitat this time. It's not mucky and wet. We have gigantic leaves, much bigger than my hand, frilly edges, heart-shaped butts, kind of spade shape overall, all attached to the basal rosette. So let's take one of these for comparison also. Now that I have all three types of leaves to compare, Let's take a look at them together. We have a couple of rhubarb leaves. We have a couple of skunk cabbage leaves. And we have a couple of burdock leaves. Now, as we said earlier, we can definitely rule out skunk cabbage because it's in a completely different habitat from burdock and rhubarb. Burdock and rhubarb will live in old fields and pastures and disturbed areas, whereas skunk cabbage likes to be in a swamp. But another really good distinguishing feature on the skunk cabbage is that the stalks, the petioles on the skunk cabbage, don't have any color. They're just plain green. They also don't really have any grooves to speak of. Both the burdock and the rhubarb have color on their stalks. So just yet another diff way to differentiate between the skunk cabbage and the burdock and the rhubarb. So skunk cabbage, even though the leaves might look somewhat similar and the rosette growth pattern might be somewhat similar, you now know how to eliminate this from your possibilities. Okay then, let's just look at the burdock and the rhubarb. And what is the difference here? There's two big differences that are really easy to tell. The back of a burdock leaf is woolly and fuzzy. You see the fuzz on there? Burdock leaves are fuzzy on the back. A rhubarb leaf is not fuzzy at all. It's completely smooth. Burdock fuzzy, rhubarb smooth. Very easy to tell the difference once you know what to look for. There's another big difference if you want to look at the stems. 
if you cut the stem and look at it in cross section, the burdock stem is hollow. The rhubarb stem, on the other hand, is not. So there you have it. Skunk cabbage, rhubarb, burdock. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Yo, 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 yo,